Hey everyone, I'm back uh, with another video, just um, a mix of things. I have a finally a finished object, I'm excited about that, and um, I'm going to do um, like a chapters uh, for the video, so like um, if you're not interested in the non-crochet stuff, you can just fast forward or you know just click on the chapter of what you want to watch um you know crochet stuff or or not um so anyway yeah we are still here we are looking to probably leave possibly mm, next week or maybe the middle of the week after that so pretty much within the next two weeks we're, that's where we're looking to finally head home and um hopefully we're we're looking to um, actually drive down from here Nashville to Orlando um, probably gonna make a stop at Gatlinburg to visit our friends our really good friends um, they have a YouTube channel as well called Joy Bless Life and we've known them for gosh now over 20 years so yeah they now live here in Tennessee and we will gonna we're making a plan to meet up and it'll be on our way to go drive down to um, Florida. We're probably gonna also make a pit stop in Tampa, visit our old home church for one meeting, and then head out from Orlando. So that's, I think that's the plan for right now. It's not set in stone, but I think that's what we're gonna do. And so, yeah, so we'll be, been hoping, you know, to get some, you know, sightseeing and fun stuff to do before we head home. Um, we haven't had, really had a chance to do much of that since we've been here but anyway yeah and I uh, think I'm gonna go oh let me just talk about first we have been um, you know walking wherever we can um, we don't have a car so what's closest to us is about a 20 minute to a half hour walk so we've been getting a lot of good exercise every day um, me and my husband mainly we're the ones who've been pretty much been having stuff to go out um, for every day, either groceries, um, or just to go and check out the stores, just to get out of the house. And, um, to the other day, we actually, all, all of us went to the library to kind of, you know, for our kids to kind of get a, a, you know, change of scenery for them to do their schoolwork at the library. Um, you know, we homeschool. So, so we hung out at the library for a little bit. And while I was there, um, I was able to actually get a library card, and I've been needing one for a long while because mine, mine, my library card from Florida had expired a long time ago, and had I had, you know, wasn't able to renew it. But when I checked at the library here in Nashville, they actually have a non-resident um, that you can get, you can get a card even for, even as a non-resident, um, you just have to pay ten bucks. Um, but I mainly wanted it to have access to their online library through like o Overdrive or Libby and so I was able to get um, a library card I was so excited and uh, because I you know, really needed that a lot for my kids because that's how they're able to get books to read for school um, the libraries in NASA are just mm, there's hardly anything there hardly I mean they are just so small so small and the library is actually right now in NASA are still closed. So even if they did have a good selection, you know, they've been closed since COVID started. So I'm very excited to have been able to get a library for my girls so that they can get online and borrow from the library, borrow the ebooks from the libraries here. Um, natural, a friend of mine actually loaned me her library card um, to sign on to Overdrive or Libby, you know, basically, um, you know, their online catalog, but because of where she lives in Florida, she lives in, um, oh gosh, she lives in Lakeland. I, I don't remember what county that is, and for some reason, I just thought all libraries were like the ones in Tampa. I mean, the huge, the selection for the ebooks was huge, and when I signed on to her county library system, man, they hardly had anything, so... Um, and none of my other friends were able to, um, like, they had something going on with their library cards or their li library cards weren't active, so I didn't have any other friends in um, Hillsborough County where I used to live 
that I could borrow from. So anyway, point is, I was just really happy to finally get a library card for my girls. And while we were there at the library, um, I also found that they have a seed exchange program. Now, if you're a gardener, I mean, this is huge, you know, so for me, it was, I was like, oh, so excited, you know, they had a seed exchange. And so definitely the next time I visit here, I will make a plan to make a donation of seeds because to, we do plan on visiting here because my husband's, my brother, my brother's-in-law and sister-in-law are still, you know, they live here. So our plan is to visit more often. And so... Yeah, so ne definitely next time we visit here, I will definitely need to bring some seeds with me to add to their collection. Um, so anyway, so I was able to borrow, to, well, to take out some seeds from there. They didn't have a huge selection, but what they did have, they did, you know, I they had a whole bunch of different peppers. That seems to very, be a very popular one. Um, but a lot of the other ones, um, beans and tomatoes, there wasn't very many tomatoes. I didn't need tomatoes. There's only like two selections of tomatoes. But anyway, so what I got, um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different kinds of seeds. And so this was, um, the first one I got was Hungarian paprika. Um, only five seeds in here. It all just depends on the person, how many seeds they put in each packet. And I did not want to take more than one envelope of each variety, so I will have to make do with what I got, and I'm hoping, hoping it has good germination rate. So yeah, Hungarian paprika. I use paprika a lot, and maybe I can make my own paprika and make even make smoked paprika, which is even better than regular paprika. And then cucumber, and this, as you can see, the name of it, Puna Kina Kira. Puna Kira, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. Only five seeds in this one as well, um, from 2020. Hopefully it should still be viable. And, and when I looked that, looked that up, that is a, a variety from India. So, and when they are ripe, they turn brown. Um, so when they're young, they're a very light green. So much, much lighter than regular cucumber that you would see in the store. So it'll be interesting to try that one out. Five seeds in this one as well. A loofah, I wanted to try that. I actually thought loofah are not edible, but I found out they are edible. And then of course, if you let them um, totally mature, then you can use them as, you know, scrubs. So we'll see how that goes. Five seeds in this one as well. A hot pepper, sugar, rush, peach. Um, be interesting to be very interested in trying this one out. It says, so when I look this one up, it's a sweet and spicy pepper. So, sugar snap pea. And um, I found out for the first time this year when I grew, um, I, I can't remember what variety of pea I ended up getting, but they taste so good raw. I, I mean, that's the first time I've ever had them like that, raw. I've only ever had, like, the shelled peas. But to have them when they're young, then, you know, the pot and all, they are so good. Like, wow. So, yeah, sugar snap pea, that one. And then another pea, snow pea. Snow peas are abs my absolute favorite. Uh, I grew up eating them in a lot of Chinese dishes. And so... I'm very excited to have that and hopefully it'll do well definitely this will be the time when i get back to nassau this will be the t season to grow them because um this is the time when it's the weather cools down and hopefully it'll be cool enough for the snow peas but um and then the very last one beets and this one says a gourmet blend so that means um when i looked it up because it's from botanical interests that's the company that they originally came from the the donator um, bought seeds, I guess, from botanical interests and donated some of these to the library. So gourmet blend is a different, there's different varieties of the beets. One is a golden one, I can't remember the, the names of them, but it was a golden one, a red one, um, one with um, red, uh, what do you call that? It's like when you cut into the beets, it's like white and pink alternating um, pattern. So, yeah. And so, um, and I, if, for those of you who don't know, I have a gardening channel as well. It's called Saf's Container Garden. I mean, it's called that because I can only garden in containers right now at the moment because of where we live. We're renting 
and so I have to do everything in containers. So yeah, if you are interested in gardening, check out my other channel. And so that's what I have for that. Um, I just wanted to share that just in case. Um, and then one thing, bef one more thing before I get into the crochet stuff. Um, in my last video, I talked about um, well now what is it called? Binde. And so last week we went on 50 cent day or sorry a dollar day which was thurs last thursday we went everything was a dollar but when we got in there they actually said everything in there was 50 cents for that day so we got um a bunch of masks um to bring home that we're looking to resell there because um masks are mandated everywhere there so um, and masks go there go for like mm, five bucks and up and so we got each of them for 50 cents so we're gonna see if we can sell them for like three four dollars a piece and um, you know d different like designs and patterns and things like that like some of them are like superhero masks and um, you know so we're trying to you know find ways to kind of you know make a little bring in some extra income so there's that and then I also got two of these this is like 400 thread count pillowcases and we can always use pillowcases I'm not crazy about it being white because they get dirty so much easier but definitely still we definitely still need some pillowcases would have been cool if we found some bed sheets but um but for 50 cents for these yeah we had to grab them um, so we got two of these so then each one come each one has two pillowcases so we got a total of four pillowcases and a 400 thread count support should be I think good a good thread count so that and then a two pack of this um, it is a Danish dough hook I've never had one so I'm excited to give this a try and see how it works if it really works as I've heard it um, that a lot of people boast about this a lot that this really works so much better than say a wooden spoon or something else um, when you're mixing bread dough by hand um, so yeah I make a lot of bread at home um, just so much more cost effective to make my own bread versus buying it at the store in Nassau so I thought this would come in really handy for me um, since I make it myself at home and I don't really use the mixer I do have a mixer but sometimes it actually is just so much simpler and quicker for me to just pull out the bowl and stuff versus pulling out the heavy mixer so yeah I'm gonna give this a shot and see how it goes a two-pack so just in case this is bad quality or just cheaply made I'll, I'll have another one and you know because from the reviews that I've read on Amazon like some of them don't last very long and some of them like last only like two or three months bef before I think this part falls off or something so for 50 cents and I got two of these so hey why not right give it a shot and then if it really is um, if it really works as well as it does then I will invest in a better quality one so got that coffee we got I think three or four packs of these there was they had a bunch of these in there in the store um, but for 50 cents a pack of these um, we bought four uh, didn't buy more than that because just we wanted to leave room in our suitcase for other things and um, I think four was pretty good it'll should last us a little bit um, but as you can see it's Vienna roast I've never I don't think I've ever had this brand so I don't 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 know how it is but we're not very um, like picky with the coffee obviously you know we don't want a cheap cheap brands but I don't think this is a very cheap brand so um, and it says Vienna roast brown sugar roasted nuts dark chocolate so mmm be really good I really like iced coffee versus hot so but during the winter time I prefer hot drinks like hot coffee or hot tea so but this thing is expired that is what a lot of the things are over there in the bin stores you always got to check for their expiration dates but for personal use we don't mind that at all and you know it just recently expired 10 19 21 so um we'll just put the other bags in the freezer and yeah so and then i found this i don't know what this was all about it looks like a cat can you see that it looks like a cat 
and it looks like a mold of some sort this is what I'm thinking is a silicone mold I'm not quite sure and this was also in with it and it is looks looks like you know stuff to make a keychain with is what's what's in here so the keychains and then I guess um, I'm not sure what you call this I don't know if, it, if that's called a, a jump ring or not and then this piece it looks like little screws do you see that like a, you screw the one end into it um, so I'm thinking it's like you're supposed to make something with this put something in this mold and then like stick this screw this in right here and you have you have a keychain um, I don't know silicone if you if you like put like hot glue gun if you squeeze hot glue in here or something and take it out I don't know I have no clue so I mainly bought it for these two because it was in the in with this pouch so this is what I wanted this is what I really wanted um, because I want to make my own crochet keychain I don't know what yet but that's one of my plans for the future and so for 50 cents why not right and some, that's some that's a really good um, price for that so and then and then um, we went back to the bin store yesterday that was the only day we went this week um, yesterday so yesterday was two dollars we didn't end up going there today I was going I was thinking oh, what well, should I go we were actually walking right past it but I was just so tired I did not sleep at all last night I um, my tooth I had some really bad tooth pain last night in the middle of the night I couldn't sleep so I was pretty much I stayed up just you know watching YouTube trying to distract myself from the pain and then it got to the point I just couldn't take anymore I took um what was it uh, uh what do you call it kind of like a knockoff excedrin for it but then because it was in the middle of the night at like 3 a.m I did my you know I took it on an empty stomach and I didn't think I you know uh, I was just so tired though and my teeth were hurting that I didn't really want to eat there was nothing else you know nothing I really wanted to eat because to my teeth you know it's when I eat that's really what causes the my teeth to hurt so so then I you know when the pain started subsiding then I had issues because of my stomach was just like was not feeling well because of I guess taking that on an empty stomach so I slept I kind of like in and out for like maybe I don't know maybe a few hours but it just was not good quality sleep so I was very tired because we went to the eye doctor today for me to get an exam um, for gl glasses and contacts and for my daughter as well and then on the way back walking home I was just you know we walked by the store we didn't go in I was just like oh, I'm just tired I just want to get home but anyway yesterday so yesterday was two dollars we got a few things um, we got this we found this box of it's called Alter Eco and in here it was already opened and only I think one or two bars was missing and it was a bunch of chocolate bars and we already ate one so it says grass filled grass fed milk with rice crunchy so um, I thought hey for two dollars why not give it a shot you know not but you know this I think it was worth it and then you know everybody you know um, pretty happy with how it tastes it's okay you know not necessarily um, you know something wow like Giardelli or Lindt or you know but it's still it's still tasty you know what i mean and worth two bucks to me so yeah and it um is expired it's from july 24th but um, not a big deal for us so two dollars for that and um what else was there oh i didn't bring it to show but um some vitamins some kids vitamins uh, for the kids i bought two bottles of them those were not expired and then a really nice flexible cutting board um, a very thin one you know uh, flexible it, it, you can't fold it in half it's not that flexible but you know it's you can bend it a little bit but anyway so yeah we needed a, a new cutting board and it was a 10 by 15 size and so you know flat really thin lightweight and we figured hey you know two dollars why not and it can easily go in our suitcase and then um, I think that was pretty much it 
Um, there were some, there was one or two other things, but it really wasn't, it's not really worth mentioning. And, um, yeah, so, and, and it's funny because I pretty much been, we have, there's actually a Dollar Tree in the plaza, right, um, where we walk to, where the Kroger's is and stuff. And it's funny, all the time that we've lived in Florida, in Tampa, I hardly ever went to Dollar Tree. It's so funny because, you know, me and my husband were just talking about it the other day, you know, as we walk home, it's like we, anytime we've been going out this last couple of weeks to go, you know, just to get out, to get exercise, go to the grocery store, we always stop in a Dollar Tree. That's like where we go for our snacks now at this moment, you know, um, and because, but it, it's just, you know, because I was just thinking, I was like, man, you know, how it's so funny, you know, I'm the main grocery shopper, okay, for the family. And all the time that we lived in Florida, I hardly ever went. The grocery stores, I go to Florida, I go to either Walmart, um, which wasn't too often. Not I mainly went to Publix for groceries. It was just so much quicker to go in and get an in, in and out, get the stuff I need. And they always had great BOGO deals and things like that. So Publix was my main place. Aldi's was also my other place that I go shopping, grocery shopping. And then, like I said, Walmart. But... Dollar Tree was never on my radar, you know, I think, I think I always had the mindset that Dollar Tree, you know, they're a dollar for a reason, you know, that it's usually, um, much smaller packages, and I also thought that it probably wouldn't be as good of a deal as, you know, versus Walmart or maybe, um, Publix BOGO deals and things like that, so I never really went there for snacks or any of the other stuff. And plus, a, a lot of the stuff I always just felt was just really cheap stuff, um, anything outside of food, so I just never really went there. But it's like, now that now after having lived in Nassau for this many years, and, you know, dealing with the high prices that we deal with every day over there, living on, because of living on an island, and then coming back here, and it's just like, wow, and to see all the stuff at Dollar Tree, you know, I mainly started going to the Dollar Tree because, mainly because I wanted to go check out to see if they had any yarn. That was my main thing since we've been, been here. <laughs> but, unfortunately, the ones here, I've been to three of them so far, and they all have only acrylic yarn. They don't have any cotton. I have not seen it. Um, so, but, so then while I'm there checking for yarn, then we go check to see what they got for snacks and stuff like that. And so m lately, we, you know, mainly we, we been getting like their, they have the Martinelli's sparkling cider. We've been getting a lot of that. Um, of course, they're they're really small bottles, but for a dollar, they you know we're like okay, well hey you know, um, at least we thought it was worth it. I don't know, I, you know what? See, because I don't know how much the regular big bottle is in the store. Um, but that Martinelli's the reg the big bottles in Nassau are about like five six dollars for the big bottles. But so anyway, so you know we go there for that for the snacks, the bags of chips. Oh, um, one of my favorites, and I haven't had it in so long, that when I first, when I saw it at Dollar Tree, I was like, oh, I had to have it, was the um, TGI Friday's um, potato skins. Those are so good. Um, and um, they actually, too, one of the other, one of the Dollar Trees that we saw, and we stopped in at um, on our bus ride to the Michaels store, which I'm going to show you uh, the small haul that I have from, the, from Michaels. Um, you know, we had to take a bus to get to get to that Michaels, and we had a transfer. And so on the way home, when we got off the first bus, and while we were um, walking towards the bus stop the, to catch the bus we needed to, the next bus that we needed to catch, there was a Dollar Tree there. So we stopped in, and they had Thin Mints, or, you know, Thin Mints knockoffs. Like if you know, if you've ever had Girl Scout cookies, the Thin Mints, Thin Mints are like my favorite. And they actually had, um, they call them fudge thin cookies, or fudge, sorry, fudge mint cookies. And they taste just, or at least to me anyway, they taste just like thin mints. And man, they are so good. And I'm like thinking, I wish I got more. Um, because the Dollar Tree here by us, that's wa that's a 20 minute walk, does not carry it at all. Um, and then there's another Dollar Tree by the bank that we went to the other day they didn't have that either so um yeah so hopefully maybe when we drive down to Tampa we can stop by a Dollar Tree over there and see if they have any more um but 
Yeah, and so we've been getting our snacks there. But you know, what for if you did not go to Dollar Tree for yarn, I'm kind of curious. Would you have gone there? And do you get a bunch of snacks there? Would you find that you get better deals on snacks? Um, or like I don't know if they have Oreos. I don't think they carry Oreos, but um, you know, like, do you buy your snacks there, or do you mainly like to get them from like the regular supermarket and stuff? Um, because obviously their snacks there too are, are a lot of them are like the off brands. They don't really have you know necessarily name brand snacks, but yeah. So maybe that's I don't know. Maybe that's why too, because you know. But anyway, but it's like they they also had like. Um, garlic toast the texas toast you know like a box of them for for a dollar and it's just like man it's like it's so funny because it's like all this time that i've lived in the u.s you know i lived here all my life and you know as an adult living in florida i never really went to dollar tree but anyway um it is what it is and um so now but um on to i think onto the hall, the Michaels Hall. So I went, I think we went last week to the bus there. They had nothing on clearance, nothing. And it was so small. I didn't realize, I was like, wow, their Mi that Michaels was just so small because their yarn aisle was just, I think two. They had two aisles and the two aisles were short aisles. So they really didn't have much of a selection and I mainly went there for the cotton to see what they had on the cotton. Everything there was though buy one get one 50% off. So at least they had a sale. So I didn't pay full price on all of this but I did get cotton and the only thing was to they had such a small selection of colors. And now I can't remember there was this one cotton that I touched and I um, checked out, man, it is so soft, but of course it is a bit more pricey. And I don't remember what brand, I don't remember if it was a Michaels brand or if it was something else. I can't remember, or if it might've been Premier. I can't remember now, but uh, if, I, if I only I could remember, cause then I would make sure, make a note of it too, if I ever catch it on sale to get some. Um, but so I got some, so yeah, so I got Premier Home Cotton. This one is Fruity Speckle. I got this one, which is Flamingo Splash. Regular White. And Cream. And then um, I wanted brown and a different color brown, but they didn't have that in the Premier brand, so I got it in the sugars and cream, the sugar and cream. So a dark brown and like a uh, what is this? What do they call it? Is there a name? Jute. This one's jute, and this one's warm brown. So, yeah, and definitely, I think rougher, I think that there's, mm, I guess they're about the same, huh? The Sugar and Cream and the Premier, the Premier actually feels a little bit softer, but, um, yeah, and I think I definitely need to get some more cotton for sure, I need to stock up on some white, because I think the last time, last video I mentioned this unicorn that I wanted to make, um, and I don't think I'll have enough, if, um, especially for the white, because the white is the most used color. So I definitely need to get some more. I just didn't want to go a little. I didn't want to go overboard in my spending at that at that moment. Um, so I will see if I can get some more of the white. And then at the Dollar Tree now, I can't remember which Dollar Tree it was. I think it was at the Dollar Tree. Um, that same day we went to Michaels. Um, when we had to transfer buses and they actually had something other than an acrylic and they had this one. I only had it in this color. I only bought four. Now I'm kind of regretting I should have bought more because I was planning on making amigurumi with this and this has 
six, 65 yards. I don't know how much that can last me in four of these. I don't know. Because for sure, I don't think I can make a very big amigurumi with that. And not very many either. Unless I make my jellyfish. Um, the jellyfish didn't take too much. I, I don't think so. But yeah, so this is what all I got. I should have gotten more now. But yeah. So that's my Michael's haul. Really small. But um, and I'm hope and I think we might make a trip to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. We'll see. Um, that's a little bit further out, a longer bus ride. Um, but I think this is my last chance to get to Hobby Lobby during their thirty percent off sale. So yeah. It's either tomorrow or I don't go at all then because um, then the only other way is to order online which that means I have to pay duty because my, my whole point is to get stuff here I can bring home and not have to pay duty um yeah so but yeah I think so that's pretty much it for that and then my last the last thing is my finished object I finally finished the hat for my sister-in-law it looks kind of funny right but this is and um this is supposed to be the slouchy and because it, it the pattern called for a bulky six so i used um two strands of worsted weight didn't i know it doesn't quite equal a six i don't think but um and so of course then because of the thickness then this kind of is kind of stiff and it doesn't really slouch like it so it's like if i put it on Kind of, kind of have to pull it down to make it slouch. So when you put it on the head, you gotta pull it down, and then kind of slouch. And I just need to put the pom pom here, and um, a button like in the front. So um, I guess then it's really not completely a finished object. Uh, it's just that I don't have the pom pom. I don't have the button. My sister-in-law went to go pick out her own pom pom and button. So as soon as she brings it, then I will put it on for her. But in essence, this is the finished hat. Let me just put it on real quick. So, yeah, you see all this space. So I just gotta kind of pull it down. See, so then it slouches like that in the back. So, yeah, my very first hat. My very first hat for my my sister-in-law. Which, see, because I originally wanted to make a hat for my mother-in-law, but of course that never ended up happening. And now I'm actually kind of thinking, you know, only thought of it after the fact, and I kind of really wished I, like, crocheted something, like, I don't know, crocheted a heart or something that I would have, if I did, if I thought about it, or if I, if even if I was in the mood for, um, crocheting, I just wasn't even thinking about it at the time. Um, I would have put it in with her in her coffin, but, oh well, a little too late for that, but it's okay. So, at least I make a, made a hat for my sister-in-law, and, um, yeah. So, um, if, I think I will put a link in the description to this pattern, um, if you're interested in making this beanie. Uh, the pattern was strictly just a beanie, not the slouchy. So, oh, and so what I did, what I ended up doing to finish it was, I think, um, I made it, I think the somewhere around here was the very last row before I started to decrease um, and this was well above six inches uh, the pattern called for six inches in height and then to start decrease and then start decreasing but I went a little bit further and then I just went ahead and just did all the decrease rows what I originally was thinking I should just do a decrease and then do a you know um, do a non-decrease row but the same number of st stitches as the decrease and then alternate between that um, to kind of make it I guess longer but I just ended up just de decreasing every row uh, until it you know got to the point so um, but it, yeah I showed it to her I put it on my daughter took pictures of her with it on and asked her if she was happy with the slouchiness if it was slouchy enough for her she said it was fine so I just sewed it up and then now it just needs the pom-pom and the button yeah 
and I think that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, we'll only be here for another possibly two two weeks or a little bit less because I'm going to drive down. I think that is it for today, and hope you are all doing well. And um, let me know what you've got, what you guys are up to, what you guys have been crocheting or what you've been doing. Um, all right then, and I will see you next time. Alrighty. Bye. God bless. Have a great day.